Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this nice, bold, bright spring makeup look. And if you want to see how I did this makeup, then just keep on watching. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Lancome Cushion Foundation. I have been absolutely loving this and using it every single day. I like to dip my beauty blender or brush, whichever I'm using on that particular day, right into it, and then I will spread it over my face. For concealer, I'm using the Clay de Peau Concealer. I've been so obsessed with it, and I know it's so bad because it's so ridiculously overpriced, but it's such a good concealer for every day. It just blends so naturally into the skin. You can't see it on the skin whatsoever. And I just use the beauty blender to blend that all into the skin. To set all of the face products and I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light and it's Ofra number 22 brush to just blend it all in across the skin. And then for contour and highlight, I'm using the Lancome Le Duo. I haven't used this in so long. I did a full review video on it last year, I think, and I kind of brought it back out of the stocks. And I forgot how much I loved it and how easy it is to use. It is so creamy and so blendable. Love it. I use the MAC 188 brush to blend it all out. So I'm applying the contour beneath my cheekbones on the sides of my nose, under my lip to add a little bit of plumpiness on my jawline, and then also a little bit on my temples, just to make sure that it's all blended in and even across my face. I like to, I don't know, shove a little bit of depth there. I don't really know what it does, but that's what I do, and I think it looks great, and it's such an easy product to use, which I love. Once I've blended in all the contour, I'll apply the highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and also on my cupid's bow. And for this highlighter, because it's so easy and creamy to blend in, I'll just blend it in with my finger, and I don't really need to do much more than that. This highlighter shade is really perfect for every day because it's nice and subtle. It just adds a little bit of glow to the face without being too overpowering. So for bronzer, I have no idea where my product shop went, but I'm using the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. Such a beautiful bronzer shade. It gives such a gorgeous, natural warmth to the face. I can't remember what number of brush this is, but I will list it in the description box down below. It's a new brush from MAC that I've been using to apply my bronzer. So far, so good. I still love my e.l.f. stipple brush, but this one's been doing the job lately, and I've been liking it. At this point, I realized I forgot to blend out the contour beneath my lips, so I did that now. And then I went on to blush, and this is the Max Factor Cream Puff Cream Puff Blush, and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks using the MAC 129 Blush Brush. This is a really nice natural mauve shade for an everyday blush look. And then I went ahead and did my brows before moving on to the eyes. I'm using the Sephora number no. 05 Neutral Gray Brown Waterproof Brow Pencil. That is such a long name, but I'm filling in the brows with that. I do a little fluffy fluff with an eyeshadow brush to make it look more natural and kind of erase any lines that I've created with the eyebrow pencil. And then I set it all in using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. For the eyes, I'm using this uh, CoverGirl Nudes palette that I picked up at the drugstore the other day. I've been loving it. Such beautiful shades in here. I started off by applying the light cream shade all over the lid, and then I went in with a MAC 217 and took this beautiful shimmery color all over the lid, and I blended it up into the crease. I think this is such a gorgeous kind of bronzy champagne color. Kinds of went a little bit backwards here, but I'm going in with this light neutral brown shade and just buffing that into the crease. And I also took that same shade and just blended that all along the lower lash line as well. Taking the darker brown shade, I'm just blending this into the outer corner and crease-ish area of the eye just to add a little bit more depth to the eye look. And then I also took this same dark shadow with a smaller precision brush and just blended that on the outside, the kind of outer edges of the lower lash line just to add a little bit more depth there as well. To finish off with the shadow, I took this light champagne shade and used this to highlight the inner corners and also the brow bone. Today was a big day, y'all. I used liner. I haven't been dabbling into the liquid eyeliner life in so long, but I've kind of been obsessed with it. It's been a long time, but the liner is back, my friends. So we'll just sit here and watch me struggle as I try to make half of a wing. As you can see here, I only took it to about the halfway point of the eyeball because it just makes it look a little bit more natural. I didn't want a very thick line. I just wanted a nice thin wing to emphasize the eyes and make me look all cat-like and all that good stuff. And this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. 
And I also take a little bit of concealer on a small detailer brush to fix up the edges of the wing. Fun fact, you don't have to make it perfect right off the hop. You can go back in and fix it later. It's a miracle worker, my friends, I tell ya. I've been layering up two mascaras lately, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes first to kind of separate my lashes and give them a fluffy look. And then I go in with the Dior mascara and it just adds so much volume, it is insane. These two mascaras together are a stupid amount of money, but holy crap, it's been giving me lashes like no other. I am. I'm obsessed with this combination. And then after the mascara, I'm putting the lip on. This is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the shade Electric Pink. Bless Tati for bringing this lip product into my life. It is such a beautiful color and applies so nicely. I still think I like my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils better, but this one is a little bit of a less matte version, but still just as good and long wearing. Love this color. Such a fun pink for spring. Thank you, Tati. And back at it again with the little brush and the concealer because I can't draw a line on my lips. I must always go back in and fix it. And then that is everything for the makeup look and that completes this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!